Tonight's attendance, 9,617, 9617, for a gain of $2,488,000. The fight of the night was Matt Hobar and Sergio Pettis. Performance of the night, Anthony Pettis and Josh Sandman, $50,000. Only one transport tonight, that was Eddie Gordon. He was taken for a precautionary head scan. He is already back. Clean bill of health. Go to our first question. It's uh, John Morgan from USA Today. Johnny. Johnny, let's, uh, let's get your thoughts. Obviously, it was a very a close fight tonight. Um, sure you haven't had the, the luxury to go back and watch it yet, but, the, but what did you think? Uh, you know, I thought I did pretty good the first three, fourth round. I started slowing down a little bit. But, you know, you can't take nothing away from Robbie. You know, what did I say the whole time? You know, he's a tough fighter. He's a guy that you got to put away. Uh, I wasn't able to do that tonight, and, you know, the judges gave it to him. You know, what can I do except for come back like he did? pick myself up, get that belt back. It did seem like it, at one point you kind of resigned yourself to stick it to the rest of the game when the striking was working pretty well for you. Was that strategic or, or were you tiring? Um, you know, what was going on at that point? You know, that was a great question. Uh, I was, uh, I just felt it. And then whenever I would feel it, uh, I would engage. But then again, I wasn't trying to get him to take down. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, that's sort of not my game. You know, my game is the kickboxing, seems like these days. Uh, and, yeah, I was doing really good on the feet, but, you know, like I said, he's a tough guy. You know, I threw a lot of kicks, a lot of, a lot of knees, a lot of a little bit of everything. Uh, just didn't get the win. And, and lastly for you, Johnny, what do you think should come next? I mean, it sounds like Rory McDonald is kind of waiting in the wings. They had kind of already tapped him to be there anyway. Um, do you think it's fair for him to get the next shot, or do you think the right thing to do is put this trilogy together? You know, that's not my call. You know what I mean? Whatever the UFC wants, that's what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? Uh, that's my management job, and my coaches, if they want the rematch right now, then we'll do the rematch. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. Thank you. Anthony, if I go to you, please. Um, obviously, fantastic win for you tonight. Um, it seems like you wanted to send a message. It sounded like you, you know, you were kind of starting to hear the doubters that you've been out for so long. Was, was was that important to you to kind of silence the critics, and do you feel like you did enough to do that tonight? Yeah, I feel like I had a great performance. I mean, Gil's a tough guy. Um, I was expecting a war out there, and uh, you know, he, he delivered. For a tough round. Um, I tried to avoid the takedowns um, as best as possible, but uh, I think once I got to the striking range, uh, I, I delivered and um, hit him with some good shots, hit him with some, uh, some nice jabs, but. Uh, I mean, I think, I think I did enough to prove that I deserve this belt for me. And obviously, you, you should get to soak it in and enjoy the moment a little bit, but um, Habib Nurmagomedov, before you were here, he's already in the press room somewhere telling everybody that'll listen, hey, he's undefeated, he deserves to be next. Um, obviously, there's a couple of big lightweight fights coming up next. What do you think? I mean, he's undefeated. Is, is, is he what you think should be next? Hey, if, he, if they want him next, give him a shot. I'm ready. I'm, I'm injury-free. I feel good. You, you saw what I did to Gilbert Melendez. If he's next, let's do it. Excuse Perfect. Thanks. Me, excuse me, guys. I have questions. My doctor said I can fight April, May, June, anytime, anywhere. Brazil, Milwaukee, Vegas, Canada, no problem. Let's go. Why? Why not? I just said yeah, man. Does he speak English? I said yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I said yeah, so if you're ready in May, I'm ready now. Copy, last question. <laughs> All right. It is one final one if I could for Travis. Honestly, congratulations on your win as well. Um, obviously, tell us how you felt tonight, but I, I have to ask you, there was a little bit of a conversation going on there right at the end. Can you share us the details of, of what went back and forth between you and Brendan there? Uh, you know, there's, uh, there's been a little bit of uh, uh, banter going back between our camp and him. And, you know, when, uh, when I get to know somebody like Coach Edmund and know what kind of a coach he is, but not only that, what kind of a man he is, it, it makes it personal for me. Um, so, you know, at the end, that was between him and I, and, and we'll keep it there. But, you know, he, he came up and he apologized, you know, for, for saying some of the stuff that he did. And then, you know, you can only, you know, what, what do you do from now? So, um, it is what it is, but, you know, we're moving forward. Uh, question for Johnny. You, uh, from just your post fight comments that, that we get, um, you know, right off the bat in the email, you looked like you were kind of hard on yourself. Did, was there something specific? Did you just not? Were you not I didn't, I didn't, well I didn't fight. Yeah, I mean, look at the fourth and fifth round. I just didn't fight. I did really good. <clears throat> didn't come out the fourth and fifth like I normally do. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, it is what it is. You know, I, I'm going to be my worst critic. I don't need you guys, you know, I mean, to sit there and say, oh, he looked like shit or he looked like this. You know what I mean? Uh, that's my job, um, and that's sort of what it was, you know what I mean? Uh, 
I didn't stay light on my feet like I should have. I sort of done a couple other things to to secure my win, but get lost in the moment, and that happened to me. And I'll be back. I'll be back. I know you're not having excuses, guy, but was there anything about the preparation? Just was it a quick turnaround? Did you take this fight? You know, it wasn't supposed to be your, your date originally. No, nah, you know, hey, no, I can't do that. You know I mean, I'm not gonna take nothing away from Robbie Lawler. Robbie fought good. He deserved to get his hand raised tonight. I just thought I won. <laughs> you know what I mean, but I didn't do it to the judges. You know what I mean? Sometimes, some reason out here in Vegas, I don't get the win. You know what I mean? I, I tried to knock him out, but. Dude, guy's got a jaw. You know what I mean? I got a jaw. So whenever it comes down to that, you sort of have to leave it to them. And it just wasn't my night. And a couple questions for uh, Mr. Duffy. Right in front of you, Todd. Right in front of you. Oh, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Got something with you? I mean, it was a familiar result for you. I mean, it's not the first time you come in and knock a guy in the first round. Is it, um, you know, a weird question almost. Would you have almost wanted it to go just a little bit longer? Spend some time in the cage after such a long layoff. Uh, I mean, you just want to get the win. Um, the cool thing for me was we uh, he hit me with a right hook. We had that second exchange that I remember, and obviously I haven't seen the fight yet. But we had a second exchange. He hit me with a nice tight right hook above the head, and I felt a little blood trickle down. I saw it. I looked at him, and I saw he had a little blood on his forehead too. And I, it was exciting to be in. A, I was like, I was just like, I'm in a fight. This is all. And I just felt good. I don't remember the question. Sorry. <laughs> Did I answer it? Uh, no, I mean, I appreciate the response. The question, though, was uh, would you have, in a weird way, wanted the fight to go a little bit longer? Are you pretty happy that. Uh, I, I was happy to get the win. Just get in there, get the job done, and get on the next one. And you, uh, getting on to the next one, is that something you want to do pretty quickly? Or are you asking the UFC? To yeah, of course. Back? I need to stay busy. Uh, I've had a lot of my career taken away, so I definitely want to get back in there and get busy. Uh, any names come up, come up in your head? That's not really my style. I definitely want somebody in the top ten, though. Um, anybody that's trained with me or been around me uh, knows I belong in the top ten, so I need to go out there and prove it now. Hey, Johnny, uh, right in front of you, a question for you. Uh, you referenced the fourth and fifth round, but, you know, in the last 90 seconds or so, it seemed when the fight was on the line, you know, Lawler raised his game and landed a couple of kicks and punches to you. You didn't, even in that point, fight with a sense of urgency. You know, it seemed like you fought at the same pace you fought the other rounds for. And I'm just curious about that particular you because, know, part of the fight. Yeah, because I can't. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit there and get a bang with Robbie Lawler. You know, we both have the knockout power, but in my mind, that was the only way he was gonna win that fight. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So you stay tight. You don't let anything hit. You keep your eyes open. You move. You're moving. Uh, you, you let the blows glance. Um, and so that's what. That's what I was sort of thinking. He's he's gonna knock me out. You know what I mean? To win. So, in that sense, I can't sit there and go, okay, let's bite down the mouthpiece. Now, if I'd have really thought that we had to win that round, then yes, that's a totally different story. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a numbers game, and I fell short on those numbers tonight. Did you feel you performed better tonight or in uh, the other fight? I mean, uh, definitely tonight. Definitely tonight. Just, just not the fourth and fifth round. Like I said, uh, came out. <coughs> Just didn't do, you know what I mean? Uh, there's there's a lot of things to be said here. You know, first off, foremost, I need to say that I'm, I feel blessed. You know what I mean? Good Lord blessed me with a great wife, great kids. Um, and the fighting, the fight tonight made me learn a lot about myself, a lot about what I need to do, and a lot of what I needed to correct in my camp. You know, and a lot revolves around walking around at 215. You know, uh, we're going to try to make a... I'm gonna make that decision. I'm gonna work with Mike Dolce, stay around 195. You know what I mean? Do everything right because I had that belt and I want it back. And I love food too, don't get me wrong. <laughs> and that's gonna be a tough decision, but you know what I mean? And I love that belt more than food. Thanks, Johnny. Uh, for the California kid. Uh, Uriah, when they showed you on the screen before you came out, every time you were on, you got a big pop and everything, and then one of the few times in your career, after the fight was over, all of a sudden the crowd was booing you. I mean, did you feel they were booing you, or was it the circumstance, or what was it? Um, I'm a real optimist, so I, I would think it was the circumstance. I, I was not happy about that uh, in my own, you know, my own opinion. I watched the replay, and I didn't get him in the eye, so... You know, I've, I've been a, someone that sees a little bit of weakness and is able to finish, and that's how I've gotten to the point where I am. And uh, just one of my instincts. And <laughs>
situation but this is my 12th year as a professional fighter and however many thousands of, of um, hours of training etc and it's a very very instinctual time in there it's not like I'm like oh now I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and think things out this is an action reaction sport and when you're in it as long as I am and you've done you know done the training over and over again you react and so you know, I don't remember fights for the most part until after I go back and watch them. And I don't remember thinking, oh, I got him in the eye or anything like that. I just but yeah, I'm going to get another finish now. And that's what I did. So One more for you, then I want to ask Rob a question. Uh, Phil Brooks was up here, CM Punk, and he talked about his coming into the UFC. You being a guy that's really good at marketing and everything, do you, do you resent a guy coming in like that? Or do you feel it's good for the sport to bring a... Uh, a person of his stature, and he's obviously going to sell pay-per-views and do that. I mean, do, what do you? What's your What's your take? First off, I'm a big fan of his, and I think uh, a lot of this fight game, and and again, a lot of the fighters understand this, is so much mental. So if this guy believes that he can get in here and fight, and he's willing to put in some work, who's to tell him he's not the baddest dude on the planet? You know, we'll see. It, it, it's a. I've had you know a lot of younger fighters that are on my team that go out and. You know, gotten losses and, and have been, you know, felt embarrassed and, you know, this is the most exposed you'll ever be in any sport. You're going to fight a one-on-one -on -one fight in front of millions of people. Um, so props to the guy for wanting to put his, his uh, you know, his best foot forward and we'll see. Maybe he's going to be the champ. Thanks, you, Ryan. Robbie, for you, uh, first of all, uh, congratulations. It was a great performance. Did you think he did enough to win when the when the fight was over? Did you uh, did you believe you were going to get it? I did this time. Uh, Johnny's a hell of a fighter. He's tough as hell, and uh, what a fight! What a fight! I feel like I uh, finished strong. I feel like I won the fourth and the fifth. And, uh, it was a close fight, man. When you have two guys who are tough as hell going in there and both stingy, sometimes you get fights like that. That's not how I thought the fight was going to go, and it, maybe we'll do it again sometime. I saw Pat came over to your corner at second or third round and was yelling at you, let your hands go and everything. It seemed like at least maybe in that last 90 seconds you really did that. And I was wondering, you know, kind of was that something that they were in your ear about a lot, let your hands go get rolling? Yeah, my coaches just wanted me to go out there and finish strong and uh, and do what I do in the gym. And uh, I was able to do that. Uh, Johnny's a very resilient fighter, and uh, he did a great job tonight. And then the last question for me.